I'm going to run Threatfire with Microsoft Security Essentials and Avast 5 and see what blocks what and how they operate. So I will visit a couple of these nice sites as you do and we'll see what comes up. Now some of these may not load now as you can see here Avast has blocked this one we'll take that pop up down here we have a file to save so I'll save that file nothing has picked those up at the moment And we'll just go through a couple. We'll have another one here to save the file. MSEs pick this one up. So as you can see, they all work slightly differently. Again, this one's been blocked by Avast. And yet again, blocked by Avast. And here we have another file to save. There we go back and see what else we have. Yet another file to save. So let me come out of Firefox, close those tabs. OK, Microsoft Security Essentials has found two potential threats, which are both coup face. Now on the desktop I have these which did download. So if I clean computer, and as you can see you've got the four items here. Now I've asked to pick some up, which you saw the pop-ups. Microsoft Security Essentials has removed two of these. So if I go ahead and run this one, and it'll be interesting to see if Threatfire actually picks this up, and yes it has, and so has Microsoft Security Essentials. Now if I just close that window a minute, here you can see it's a very high potential threat, it's a bot. And what you want to do is kill and quarantine this process, remember this answer, and proceed. And Threatfire will then go into mode and it will look like a little burning flame down in your system tray. Now if we go ahead with Setup, and see what this one brings forward. Again, Threatfire is alerted to this one, so kill and remember the answer and proceed. We'll open Microsoft Security Essentials and it's detected another potential threat so we'll clean the computer not found because Threatfire actually removed it and it did in that case too. So they all work slightly differently and not one of them stops all of these programs from downloading or running and by using them in tandem together as a layered approach to security you've got better coverage. Now what I will do is run malware bytes. Now I've updated this and just see what it picks up if anything. And whilst that's running I will also run CCleaner. Now what you want to do when you get these malware infections untick this box, go to options advanced and untick only delete files in Windows 10 folders older than 24 hours. This is important. You can then run the cleaner and allow it to remove all the junk files and it will remove all of them and some will be locked until you reboot. Okay, it's cleared the temporary files. What I will do is 
run the registry scanner on this and I will also run Oslogix and start an advanced registry scan and see what that picks up and this will cover all of these so everything there is pre-ticked and I'll come back to it when it's finished uh, C Clean has found no issues whatsoever, so that can be left well alone. And I would imagine those logics will be pretty much the same. And Malwarebytes, as it's scanning at the moment, it has found nothing. Okay, Malwarebytes has come back as clean, so I'm quite happy with that. And there's nothing at all in Oslogix. So basically, Threatfire, MSE, and Avast have taken care of the problems that were downloaded they blocked them and that's it now if you want a little bit of humor you might want to go here and turn on when you're in YouTube turn on the transcribe audio which is a beta service as transcribe, transcribe and just read the text it's actually quite amusing and you can have quite a laugh with some of these. Now this is on one of mine, but I'm sure this applies to all of them. And it's a little bit of a giggle for you, so go and have a bit of fun. If you want any more information, and you want download links to any of the programs, then check out my site, which is Free PC Security, and you can find it at freepcsecurity.co.uk.